My friends, we've made it to PMTS over to the JTEC booth, and I got my buddy Jim, who is now famous all over the world for his camera skills. Thank you, sir. And we're sir. gonna talk a bit of grinding. Jim, I leave it up to you, buddy. It seems <laughs> like the grinding world kind of knows what they want, so it's just up to us to let them know we have it for them. For sure. I mean, JTEC has made a tried and true grinder for decades. Um, they are the number one manufacturer of grinding machines in the world. Uh, we're showcasing the G1 series grinder here. This is uh, the smallest grinder that we offer, small footprint, but it packs a lot of quality, uh, the standard quality for the, for the grinding machines built by JTEC. Uh, one of the things that they are known for is the Toyota Stat spindle bearing, hydrostatic, hydrodynamic, there's no bearings, actual roller bearings or ball bearings in the system. It's all floating on a, on a film of oil. Um, the other uh, proprietary design for the grinder that oh, uh, JTEC <laughs> has uh, come out with and it's on all their grinders is the uh, floating ball screw or floating ball nuts. Um, so what that does is uh, take some of the uh, absorb, absorption, uh, if there's an impact on the axes, it will uh, not affect the, the actual ball screw or the motor. Um, so it's built into the ball nut itself that can absorb that, uh, that impact if you happen to, to go that far with the machine, you know, beyond its uh, necessary travels. Um, the other thing- we don't, but it's good to know it exists. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, the other new uh, aspect is uh, the Toyo Puck touch control uh, that they've recently come out with. This is their new control design. Um, on the grinding machines. Uh, it's, it's very similar to what's also on the horizontal machines, but now they put it into, into the grinding machines here. Um, so this is a full conversational control. Uh, it's really helpful for setup for, uh, for customers to set up parts. You have a changeover here. Um, you can come into, uh, it's like uh, picture by picture, step by step to actually set up a part, come in, touch off on the parts. Uh, you tell the diameter of the wheel and you're ready to go. Um, you also have, uh, if you have a locator or if you have uh, a sizing, uh, uh, like a Marpaws gauging system, something like that, it's easy setup, one touch setup on this. Um, you can also do profile dressing into the wheels by point to point dressing on the, on the control. Um, so, you know, it's, this machine is really meant for uh, getting somebody, getting a, a, a company into CNC grinding. If they're starting off in most places still have some you know, manual grinders that are still running, you know, decades later. Well, this is kind of that, that step up. It's easy to set up, uh, but full, full CNC capabilities for the, for the grinder, so. Ah, well done, Jim. So yeah, I think personally as the largest, the biggest in the world, as you mentioned, right? When it comes to the machine itself, I am inspired by this and I want to tell you why. We currently, everyone talks about it. It's a buzzword, it's a hashtag, it's trending, the skills gap, this labor shortage. For How sure. do we, help them when they get to us because we want more and more and more people for you know the next gen, right? Right. This on the main screen that you showed me, it looks like a smartphone. It looks like a smart tablet. For it's sure. very intuitive and user friendly. So this works really well with this and it works really well with an audience out there who might be new that's coming into the industry because that Definitely. to me is the simplicity we need and the familiarity we need with our day-to-day -day uses of our tablets and phones to help us instantly go, I can do this. I can work Definitely. with this. I want to be a part of this. Yeah, you know, every shop, every machine shop has those guys that you just can't replace, right? They are the the guys that can come into any grinder and set up a manual grinder, dial it in, um, dial in taper, everything uh, to get that, that part set up. Well, I mean, to get, you know, the new uh, people coming into the industry, to get them more used to the running the machine, it's, it's difficult to set up that machine. Same thing as setting up a mill. You know, machinists, uh, that's a skill set that is hard to teach. It takes many years to do that. Um, well, whereas this is a, is a nice step forward to, uh, you know, one step touch for, for setting up the part in it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely like using a, a cell phone, if you will, um, and just easy to use to get, to get more people wanting to run machines, because that's definitely something that we need. Jim, you mentioned we all know that guy or gal out there that's been doing this for a while that can walk up to any machine and run it lights out and knows intuitively what's going on. Right. If we blink, we're going to be those guys soon because those guys are leaving and we have to I do know. something to create this awareness for everyone else. This is a heck 
of a first step. Thank you so much for You're doing a great Ryan job doing that too. Bringing we're, it, bringing we're it tired, to everybody. Man. We're so, we're tired thank you for, for that. all of you out there, but this is grinding. This is JTech. This is a great way to communicate with the next gens as well as being successful in your own shop with a trustworthy brand that is the biggest in the world. I think that says wonders for itself all on its own. And uh, I think Jim is my new hero, by the way. <laughs> you are, man, for me, definitely. Especially that grinding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>